Finding Nemo, it's time to ruin someone's childhood. So basically this movie is very accurate except for one big glaring detail that I'm not surprised they glossed over. Clownfish are hermaphroditic. Now what that means is that they can change their gender from male to female when the population needs to and when they need to reproduce. So basically what I'm saying is that after Marlon's wife died, he should have become a girl and tried to reproduce with Nemo, or Nemo should have become a girl and tried to reproduce with Marlon, which is a very horrifying Freudian, Shakespearean type of reproduction, like Oedipal complex that I'm really happy they didn't get into in the movie, but I'm more than happy to ruin your childhood now. So yeah, besides that, Dilly did a very good job of creating a very accurate marine life ecosystem and a very good reef image of how a marine reef works. So I think that's really cool. It's just that one big glaring issue. So yeah, do with that information what you will, but it gives a whole new reason as to why Marlon was so desperately trying to find Nemo dominant male. If and when the female dies, the dominant male then steps up and turns into the dominant female. But that's not the big reveal I'm talking about when it comes to finding Nemo. No, there's one last twist to the story. With our dominant male, in this case Marlin, now female, it leaves the role of the dominant male vacant. Which means that one of the immature males from the colony has to move up into the role of the breeding male. But in Nemo's colony, there's only one other fish to fill that role. Nemo himself. Meaning that when Marlin transitions into a biological female, Nemo would then biologically be required to move up into the role of the dominant male. In other words, in a completely realistic version of this movie, Nemo would then procreate with his own parent, Marlin. Yikes! I know our unofficial tagline is ruining your childhood, but seriously, this one is really gunning for that title. Now in all seriousness, surely Disney doesn't intend for their animated family franchise to be interpreted this way, right? I mean, we see a whole lot of Marlin after his wife Coral dies, and everyone, including Marlin himself, only ever identify him as being male, without question. A year later, during the events of Finding Dory, Marlin is still being referred to as a he, and there's certainly no evidence that Marlin and Nemo are, you know, taking a role in the anemone. In Finding Dory, the two of them still live alone without any signs of tiny clowns around. Sorry, tiny clowns led to a scary visual there. Tiny underwater clowns are the stuff of nightmares. Let me rephrase that. The two still live alone without any signs of tiny clown fish around. Guys, so earlier in this video, we were talking about Marlin and Nemo. So tell me in the comments what you think about what's going to happen. Like if they're going to make another Finding Nemo, let's say. Like Finding Nemo 3 or something like that. Write down in the comments what you think, and also make sure you leave a thumbs up, and keep watching this video till the end. Guys, also when they made Finding Nemo, they made everything relatable to real life. Like let's say when Dory goes inside the anemone, she will get stung. Also in real life, they'll get stung, like any other fish. And um, except for one actually, there's a domino damsel that would actually also go inside the anemone. And they would actually sort of like live together with the clownfish but you won't really see them paired together they could be in the same anemone but it's not likely to happen so like i said earlier i want you guys to write something in the comments about this if you ever watched it if you enjoyed it or you think it's for kids or whatever just write it down in the comments and i'll try to reply to you as soon as possible just keep watching till the end so right here is my tomato clownfish. He has a pair swimming around the fish tank. And there's actually a carpet anemone right now behind the clownfish. And right now he's in a long tentacled anemone, which is currently white. It usually like changes colors. Its tentacles used to be like more brown. If you look at my past videos, you could see it. And it actually used to be in between those rocks. On the left side right now it used to be in the middle there and now we moved it over because the chocolate chip starfish i pretty much scared it off and then i ended up putting it here you could also check that in my past videos and it's it was actually pretty cool how the anemone moved by itself and then i moved her here clownfish are the only type of fish that would switch from male to female and once they do switch actually they can't switch back so they only turn from male to female if they feel like they're endangered and there's no female clownfish. 
prettiest animals in the entire ocean. This is the mandarin fish, one of the most beautiful fish in the entire reef. They're usually found in warm tropical waters and in aquariums, actually. Now, they are covered in a wide variety of colors from blues to turquoises, yellows, reds, and pinks. My personal favorite are sea slugs. These guys are some really awesome hermaphroditic gastropods that live in all sorts of environments and coral reefs. They come in bright blues, neons, pinks, purples, amazing, really intricate patterns, and the emperor angelfish. These guys are actually really interesting because as a juvenile, they look like this, and as an adult, they actually change colors to look like this. And scientists for a long time thought they were two different species, but now we know that they're the same. And The lionfish is an ecological menace to many environments that it has invaded unnaturally. However, it is still absolutely gorgeous. Its spines and fins are decorated with brown, white, and red stripes. This is the harlequin shrimp. This species of shrimp is commonly found in tropical coral reefs. These guys have bright blue patterns, and sometimes they have- A few of the many hermit crabs that we have. Another hermit crab, and there's a sea urchin. The hermit crab's there, and the sea urchin and the starfish, another hermit crab, and the conch is right there, and there's the kato, and the horseshoe crab, he actually goes under the sand, he could be anywhere right now under the sand, but actually right there, you can't really see it so well, that is a crab, it like has uh, seaweed all, algae all over it, so it like blends in so much. I'll try to get a better picture of it. So this is a top view, and that's how it looks like. Here's my bluegill, I'm gonna go feed him. He's a little bit shy, but usually he would like, go up and just grab it very fast. I'm probably going to let him go. So here's my freshwater tank. I actually have seven zebra fish and one sword tail, which is right there. The zebra fish are swimming around pretty fast. Um, so the zebra fish are in the minnow family and they live up to three and a half years. They don't live so long, but that's how long they live. And over here I have a plant that actually grows from this oxygen gives them oxygen. All the fish need oxygen. Sorry, all these fish need oxygen. Like, betta fish don't need oxygen, actually. They don't, I, they don't need an oxygen machine, which is this. This. But they do need oxygen, so, like, the betta fish would go up to the top and start breathing once in a while. They don't need to have a machine that gives them oxygen. And now it's actually time to feed them. So I just fed them, and they're slowly eating it up. The sword tip, my bad, the sword tail is um, pretty skinny now, so I put more food, because these guys are very aggressive when it comes to food, they'll eat it right away. And now he's on the bottom and food is actually going to him. So like I said earlier, this is a temporary tank. I'm gonna get another tank and gonna probably breed them breed these guys a sword tail and get some guppies most probably Ow! so i have a little piece of tilapia Look, and i wonder i just flipped the switch anyone's hungry i don't know nobody else is doing this If you guys made it till here, I want you to know if you write something nice in the comments and I like it, I'm going to give you a shout out towards the end of the video. So stay tuned.